Hello okay guys, welcome back. So today we have a 2017 Santa Fe XL. It's a 3.3 um, liter GDI engine. So customer complained that the oil light is on after we service the car. Um, especially, um, specifically me, service last week I think. And then it was fine for a few days and then when he when he decided to go for a long trip, the oil light just came on. So we'll try to check what's going on in this car. And first, let's see, we duplicate our problem with the oil light. As you can see there, it's flickering, right? I think you see that, I see that, yeah. So I'm just gonna double check my work, but I'm pretty sure that I did properly my service. Um, most likely the problem will be the oil pressure switch and let's see what's going on with that one okay guys so um, we're here now in the engine bay because if I mess up something with my oil filter so far there's no leak there it should the and um, oil pressure light will come on right away after the service right so the one way to check our oil pressure if there's a problem there is this is our connector, the extension connector, because the oil pressure is at the bottom there on the oil gallery underneath the intake, lower intake manifold. So, one way to check is we remove our connector here. And I can see oil already. Let me zoom this in. You see that that's oil, right? Um, so we know that our oil pressure is leaking, so that's our problem there. And I guess I'm gonna do a video on how to replace that, okay, guys? So um, <laughs> we got our new our part, oil pressure. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start from here first and then. We're gonna remove our air box and all our, as you can see there, all our harnesses on top of the intake. Guess we're gonna remove that. So let's do that. Don't do it. So we're removing the air box now with just all 10 millimeter. We're gonna use 10 millimeter socket. Okay. Just have to remove this. That's out. Uh, remove our battery. <laughs> so that we don't have to deal with the coolant. We just have to remove our throttle body here. It's just 10 millimeter, and then we'll just remove this connector. on top so 
whatever um, connectors that we see, just remove them. So I'm going to remove this hose here, so that um, I can just remove the hole and I don't have to deal with the other hoses. It's gonna be a 14. I'm gonna use a 14 millimeter socket. The back of this intake. There's a bracket here. Just have to feel it by your hand. Yeah. There's some no space at all there. So what I usually do is. <laughs> so I'm gonna grab a very long ratchet and then I'm gonna go to the top. Then just put it from there. Okay now, I just have to remove all the 10 millimeter bolts here and we can remove our upper intake. Hose here, this hose here has attached our bulb cover there, so we're gonna remove that. intake is out now so let me reposition the camera okay so our next step is as you can see there's just some leaves there so I'm just gonna cover this um, our lower intake manifold and just blow some dirt there so that we don't have a risk that all debris can go onto our intake ports so what we're gonna do is we have this um, high pressure line here from our um, high pressure pump. We're gonna remove that. Well, not we'll, we'll not remove, remove, but I just have to remove this line so that I can just take the whole um, thing out. And we have to remove our PSP line there. So always wear uh, eye protection, just in case. So. Uh. 
So it's uh, HW6 or the camera of HW6 or no one. So as you can see there, that's out, and we'll just cover our intake ports there. Same thing with the other side. So we're gonna loosen our line there, and then we're gonna remove our injectors, the rail. Guys, uh, so we remove our injectors, and um, as you can see there, that's our all pressure in between. So there's there's no really tool or a special tool that they gave us to do that. So what I usually what I usually do is I just chisel it out, right? So let me set up my camera again. I just have to use the connector.
old, old pressure switch. So now I'm just gonna clean the inside one to do some. I don't know where's the coolant coming from. Um, there's some oil there, so I'm just gonna clean that and we're gonna put everything back together. So I'm gonna put now the new all pressure switch. You heard click, that's good. And that's it. I'm just gonna put everything back together. Okay guys, so that's it. Um, that's how you replace the oil pressure. So I start the car and see Just give us So I forgot the connector for the throttle body. Let's try again. Nice. There you go. That's just good enough. I think that's my throttle body I guess for my truck engine light, but at least our concern right now for the oil, oil light is not on anymore so um, that's it guys um, I hope you enjoyed the video and don't forget to like subscribe um, comment if you have any suggestion let me know and see you next time